What's going on everybody? Come back. I've got a new light source I want to show you for camping and we're going to check it out and take a little test drive on this thing. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So, um, you know I've been looking for good lighting sources for camping. Um, I've got two of them that I use. I don't have any of them in here with me. They're, I think they're all still packed in the truck, actually. But um, I have two, that, or well, I have four light sources. One of them is strictly solar uh, powered or rechargeable. The other three are rechargeable with USB. Well, I have found something a little different. And what I'm going to do after I show you what I've got going on, I will be running a test, and that will be in this video, of how long it will last with these power sources I've got gathered. I do have a couple extra USB power sources that I can use that are free that are not for anything. Um, with that said, I'm going to show you what i got and we're going to show you how i'm going to work it and throw it into the system okay it's the climate inflatable tube light it has a led inside of it. it has usb on this end of it i will leave an affiliate link to my amazon store down below where you can find this thing now like i said i'm going to run this thing through some tests uh it does not have its own power source you have to provide one so i've got two power banks this one is only a 2800 milliamp power bank. This one's an 8000 milliamp power bank. Now, I don't use either one of these for anything anymore because um, I've got two, yeah, I got two different um, anchors that I use for travel and stuff all the time now. So I'm going to devote one of these to this. Now, this one is solar, but I've always heard bad things about the solar part of this thing not working. But you can recharge it with USB on itself. This one is a rechargeable only USB. You'll see all the connections there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to pick this as far as the how long will it run up on later on in this video. But when you plug it up, you see how bright this thing is. Matter of fact, well, I can't turn off all the lights on. But we see how bright it is. I mean, it's bright enough when you're camping. Um, I'm going to turn it on. There we go. There you go. Both power sources are doing the same. So we're going to take this. We're going to start with one of them and see how long it'll burn. And take the other one and see how long it'll burn with it. Um, probably will do, I'll probably just do a, um, time check on each one and everything and pick up the camera and say okay it's been X amount of time since this has been on and we'll keep going until it dies completely but the way I view it though with these lights this kind of a light depends on where you use it I'm probably going to use it in the tent because it does have a hanger right here so it would hang from the top of the tent um, may use it inside the tent i'm not 100 percent sure yet I may use it under the umbrella and take my other lights and use them elsewhere to light up camp um the the big thing that I, I really want is to see which one of these power banks will run it the length of time i want it to run um i mean on the average you figure most of your lights you run at camp at night you probably run what three to four hours a night depends on the time of the year i know that it could be up to six hours a night so we're going to see if one of these power banks will run 12 hours so i, I that's what i'm expecting is 12 hours out of this we know this is led so it's not going to take a lot of power to run it but how long will it last so we'll find that out and we're going to stop talking right now and start testing. i do want to say before i start doing the testing i am going to charge both of these up to their fullest so that they are completely charged so we're going to get a 100 percent charge out of both to run the light so we'll see the length of time that these things do run 
All right, we'll be back after the test. All right, guys, so it's 714. Well, it, trust me, it's 714 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna start with my smallest power bank on this test. This is the 2800 milliamp. I'm gonna plug it up to the light. You can see, I'm just gonna sit down here in the chair at the office and just let it run. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, lit up. But we'll sit like that so I can see it. But uh, we'll check back at 8.15, see how she's doing. But this is my smaller battery pack. We're gonna start with it first and we'll see where it goes. Okay, we're checking back in on the light. It's 10, 12, almost 10, 15. So it's been running for another hour. So we're working on hour three and she's still bright, but we're only down to two bars left on the battery pack. So I don't think it's gonna make it 12 hours burn time. Uh -uh. Okay, so we're Three hours 30 minutes in and we're having a failure with power supply right now it's on I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and it just went off so the power supply has run completely out matter of fact it's blinking if you can see that so that means it's done so three hours and 30 minutes or so on uh, light and she's done I didn't think it would last so now we're gonna move on Remember, I charged these things to the fullest last night. Um, this one is completely dead now. This is the 2800 milliamp. I didn't think it would make it. it, it that's good for an emergency purposes. This one's 8000 milliamp. Um, I'm gonna turn the button on, the lights on, and we'll see how it goes. So it's 1045, we'll come back at 1145 and we'll see how it runs. So we know three hours, 30 minutes on that little power supply. We'll see how long it lasts on this one. Okay, fixing to go home. Uh, I'm gonna take the light with me as it runs. So we're going to continue this and you see it's down one dot so we still have three dots left which is basically three quarters of the battery left it's 357 now so we're going to leave this thing on we're going to take it home we're going to put it out in the cold garage we're going to see how much longer it'll last um i'll tam time stamp how many hours right here uh this thing's been running on this power pack so we know the other power pack will make three and a half hours so we'll see how far it's going to make it on this one Okay, I'm home from work. Uh, light's been on ever since I left work. Um, just ran it all the way home like that. And as you see, we're down to the third dot now. So we got three dots left, which is still three quarters away. So it's it's doing better than I thought it would. I mean, it's doing better on this um, battery bank for sure. I'll put down how long it's been burning now on this power pack. Cause I done forgot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it out here in the garage. Now here in the garage, it's about 50 or so degrees, a little over 50 maybe. Um, so it won't replicate winter style camping, but it'll get us some pretty good idea of um, cooler weather camping, how this battery pack's gonna last and how this is gonna last. This thing is like not even warm or anything. Um, the battery pack is not warm itself either. That's what I'm trying to fill up. I mean, it just it is what it is. So, um, I will let this run again. Just let it keep running. We'll check back periodically. And um, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, back in a little bit. Okay, so final update. 
we're going to take a look at this thing. It is at two bars, so it's halfway. We're still bright. Nothing's changed on it. So I'm going to call it at that. Uh, it is 7.58, almost 8 o'clock at night. So I'll put down here a total runtime of this thing on this power pack. But I think it'll meet what I want to do with this light. Um, come to the determination, this is going to be my new inside the tent light above the on the ceiling. Um, I can just throw this all in the little basket hanger thingy at the top. And that'll be my interior light. Plus I have my nightstand light that I use too. So that'll be that'll be what that's for okay so all you do to disconnect is just unplug it from your power source whatever that might be like i said you got two bars left so i feel like this will run this thing for the amount of length of time i will need it um remember it's a climate i will leave a link down below uh for this thing um pretty sweet they've got three different sizes this is the smallest one they do make uh couple sizes up from this um, and you can look at that on Amazon of course uh, but anyway so I'm not paid by climate to suggest these things I bought this with my own money but I've been keeping an eye on this thing I thought man that looks pretty cool so uh, it just deflates down like that and then you can roll it up into a nice little package put it in your I always keep it in my gear I'll keep it in my gear box and uh that's it that's it that's that's what you get all right guys that's it for this one um hope you appreciate the nice little long all day look at this thing um i think this battery pack will be the one i'll go with for it this one right here it's an 8000 milliamp i think that's plenty of power for a weekend uh, if you want something to power it all weekend, you're probably going to need something or all week or something. You may need something bigger uh, than 8,000, you know, maybe like a 20,000 milliamp. Uh, if you want to, you know, plug it into your jackery or something of that nature, you can probably do that. You'll have to get an extension cord depending on where you're going to put it. But they do make a USB extension cord, and you find those online too, I'm sure. If I find one, I'll link one down below. But uh, all right. I like this. This is... Um, this is going to go well with my lighting kit. Uh, like I said, I brought, I took the uh, old propane lantern out. So I need, need this. I like lights. I like camp gadgets. What can I say? That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. We'll see you on the next one. Do not forget to make camp out. All the information probably streaming down at the bottom or something, and we'll see you then. Be prepared.